Do you have a water? I'm just gonna go down. Deep. Oh, okra. Kentucky, K-E-N-T-S-U-K-Y. So we're going around the farm and we're noting down all the different crops that they have planted currently. C-H-I-N. Oh yeah. G-E-N-S. Yeah. Okay. By knowing the quantity of the crops, we can try, we can measure out how much fertilizer they are using and how much water they are using. So all of that contributes to their carbon footprint. So we are trying to find the carbon footprint of the Asia Rural Institute, an organic farm and also a school. So it teaches rural leaders from various countries. To hopefully look at the carbon footprint, it is really important in understanding um, how sustainable these farms are. I've also been participating in the farm activities and harvesting and weeding and being able to to see where our food comes from like the lettuce and the onions and the peas and the radishes that we harvested earlier and eating them for lunch. Get this grown up in the air for a few minutes okay. and then when it's up we can you can spot it right here are included are included we are using the map that ARI gave us um, and trying to figure out so which ones to count in the in the carbon footprint by having the drone maps it helps us figure out the exact area of the fields how much energy it takes to tend these fields food is a big part of our carbon footprint overall I think getting more comfortable with the scientific process and you know I've done a lot of labs in school before but they're always within a very specific time period. Talking to the participants here about why they're here, why they want to do organic farming, why sustainability matters, that's been really, really exciting. So I'm putting the holy basil that I sold here. ALI experience made me to see the dignity of labor and the importance of working with soil. Because I'm from the city and I've never had an opportunity to work with soil. It's nice to grow with my hands that we eat what we eat every day. I feel more relaxed and more secured. Okay, so it looks like there might just be crops over there. Uh. <laughs> We're measuring the breast diameter of every tree within our plot. Um, using a few of these samples to figure out on average how much volume of wood and therefore how much carbon is like in these forest areas. Yeah. So, it, so it's measuring the carbon sequestration. Um, 24 hardwood, 62 softwood. I think respecting our resources is something that I've learned and hopefully will be more conscious about after my time in Japan um, and that includes natural resources and also human resources and just having respect for everything and understanding that everything is a living thing and needs to be looked after the same way that we do for ourselves. <laughs> 